I always liked Norm. He was a, could be a bit crusty, but all, and always in a nice way. How are you doing? I'm okay. doing fine. Oh, oh, you needed a kiss. You were presenting yourself. Uh. Uh. Well, it was a difficult decision I gave a lot of thought to. And I love being our state's governor because I could help people each and every day. Uh, I had, uh, concluded that at this moment in time, it wasn't the right thing to do for the following reasons, and that there were better ways for me to serve and help the public. Uh, number one, the political climate has just become so partisan and polarized, and I'd like to bring people together and reconcile differences. I thought in the current environment, that was going to be very difficult. Um, the Indiana legislature currently is pretty divided one side to the other. Back when I was governor, it was very closely divided, making it uh, principled compromises a little bit easier. Not quite so easy today. And finally, just the nature of our governorship, with the veto uh, power being able to be overridden by a simple majority of the legislature, meant that my ability to sit down with legislative leaders and say, no, we need to compromise on this, we need to work out our differences, might not be so great. And so I really had no uh, desire to be uh, a figurehead or just hold the title. If I was going to have the privilege of being our governor again, I want to be a strong governor with a legislative agenda to help our state. And I concluded at this moment in time that helping other candidates, being involved with uh, uh, universities, staying involved in the community was probably a better path to actually making a difference than just running for public office. Well, I gave a speech in Northwest Indiana just two days ago uh, to about 700 community leaders from Lake Porter and LaPorte County about the need to put some of these differences aside, to think like Hoosiers and Americans first, not as Democrats or Republicans or liberals or conservatives, to think about the challenges that we have in common and what we're going to do about them. Because today, we're spending way much too, time, too much time pointing fingers and not nearly enough time figuring out what we're going to get done. That's got to change if we're going to have the kind of uh, opportunity we want for ourselves, and also if we're going to have an Indiana and America, we would be proud to have our children inherit from us. Uh, we can't afford to be diverted into these quarrels and the constant fighting the way it exists today. So I hope I can serve as a role of constantly prodding and admonishing and encouraging people to find that common ground, because not enough of it exists today. Well, there may be several good candidates step forward. I think that's a wonderful thing. And I'm uh, always willing to offer advice and counsel to them. Uh, but first, we're going to have uh, mayor's races next year. I think there's going to be a very important mayor's race in Indianapolis, where there may be an opportunity to have uh, a new leader, uh, uh, someone that I personally think highly of, Joe Hogsett. So we'll see about that. And I'm happy to help him in any way. And other mayors are around the state as well. Uh, those are important elections next year. And then we have the governorship and other races coming along the year after that. And also, um, if my friend uh, uh, Mrs. Clinton were to decide to run for president, well, I think uh, very highly of her and her husband and would be happy to help uh, them uh, in any way if that's what, what they decide to do. Well, Joe's opened an exploratory committee to think about running for mayor. Uh, I've always had a very high regard for him. As U.S. attorney, he was very successful in uh, prosecuting criminals, fighting crime, which is a major challenge confronting Indianapolis today, um, something Susan and I focus on because we're uh, Marion County residents. Uh, I know in the past he's thought carefully about really the things that help prevent crime, too. Better schools, decent economic opportunities with more jobs, those sorts of things. And so um, it's no secret we're friends. I have a, a lot of respect for him. I hope he runs. Uh, that'll be his decision. And if he does, I'd be happy to help him in any way I can. Well, uh, I'm a fifth generation Hoosier. And I'm proud uh, my sons were born in St. Vincent's Hospital. So that makes six generations. And I've been privileged to. Uh, serve in three different offices representing our state. And I intend to be uh, helpful to the people of our state uh, in any way I can, even if I may not be running for political office right now. Fortunately, there are a lot of ways to make a difference and serve other than just politics.